Luis Suarez is headed elsewhere to Atletico Madrid. Though just a few days ago, a transfer to Juventus seemed imminent before whispers of the illegalities of his test came to the fore. With Suarez leaving Barcelona's training ground in tears recently, rumors of Koeman telling him he wasn't part of its plans, and the mistreatment of Suarez allegedly playing a role in Messi's attempted departure of the club, this is not how anyone expected FC Barcelona's third all-time top scorer to leave. Hey, I'm Adrian and welcome to Rabona TV. It seems Suarez was headed to Juve, but then Juve signed Alvaro Morata and the transfer carousel is stopping at Atletico Madrid now. Let's take a look at his legacy at Barcelona, the controversy surrounding his allegedly illegal Italian citizenship exam, and the mistreatment of a club icon at Barcelona. Oh, and you can keep up to date on this story, on Suarez in particular, or on football transfers in general using OneFootball's newly updated application. You can custom tailor your news feed and get up to the minute updates on your favorite players, clubs, and competitions. News, highlights, special videos, transfer rumor raiders, live scores, and match tickers make one football the best way to follow football. Use the link in the description for a free download on iOS or Android, and a big thank you to One Football for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Recently I was on vacation, but I was able to keep up to date on everything thanks to One Football. So do check it out. All right, let's get back to Luis. Looking at Luis Suarez's time at Barcelona, it is often overlooked just how seamlessly he slotted into their attack. After he scored 31 Premier League goals and 33 appearances and set up 17 during his final year with Liverpool, Barcelona fans no doubt had high hopes when he arrived at the Camp Nou during the summer of 2014. And given the quality he had shown in the Premier League, there wasn't much doubt that he would excel alongside Messi and Neymar. But as we know, quality doesn't guarantee a fit in football. As nothing is guaranteed with signings, especially those that are adapting to a new league. Yet Suarez had no issues. In his first season with Barcelona, he showed his class in scoring a respectable 16 goals and 27 La Liga appearances, adding a further 16 assists to boot. In the Champions League, in completing the Messi, Suarez, and Neymar or MSN attacking trio, he scored 7 goals and assisted 3 in 10 appearances. In total, he scored 25 goals and set up 23 across all competitions, which is not a bad start, but his next season is where he was flirting with the best in the world title at that time. Now with a certain Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo squaring off in the same league as you, let alone a talent like Neymar, the limelight often finds those just mentioned especially those mentioned before the Brazilian, given how they have completely altered what can be considered a successful season in regards to goals scored. Both Ronaldo and Messi have put in 60 or more goal seasons across all competitions, ludicrous numbers that have made anyone else's achievements seem a little bit less than. Such is the case when talking about Luis Suarez during the 2015-16 season. 59 goals in 53 appearances across all competitions is the kind of scoring record that had the two interplanetary beatings that are Messi and Ronaldo hadn't muddied the waters on scoring output. It's the kind of record that Luis Suarez would be receiving plenty of best goal scorer of all time consideration. 40 goals in 35 La Liga appearances, 8 goals in 9 Champions League appearances, 5 goals in 4 Copa del Rey appearances, 5 goals in 2 Club World Cup appearances, 1 goal in 1 UEFA for Super Cup appearance. In April of 2016, he scored eight goals in just two matches in one week. I mean, it was insane. That's not even taking into account his assist numbers. 18 and 35 La Liga appearances, the kind of assist numbers that any fullback or midfield maestro would be envious of. Those 40 La Liga goals ended the Pichichi domination of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi that had gone back six years. The last time someone other than Ronaldo or Messi had been La Liga's top scorer was during the 08-09 season, when another Uruguayan and Diego Forlan scored 32 goals and 33 appearances for Atletico Madrid. But across all competitions, Luis Suarez has failed to score 30 plus goals in just three of his six seasons with Barcelona, his first season and his final two. Those aren't rookie numbers. In fact, in fact, his output is amongst the best in Barcelona's history. With 198 goals scored, he ranks third in Barca's standings for their all-time record goal score, behind just Cesar, who was active between 1942 and 1955 in case you didn't recognize the name, and of course, Lionel Messi, 
who has scored more goals than Cesar, Luis Suarez, and Laszlo Kubala combined, the second, third, and fourth ranked players in the list. But back to Suarez, as during his time with FC Barcelona he has won and been integral to winning everything possible. He's won four La Liga trophies from six attempts, four Copa del Rey titles from six attempts, two Supercopa de España, a UEFA Champions League title in which he scored the winning goal in the final, a UEFA Super Cup, and a Club World Cup. Besides a dip into the Europa League, which was never on the cards for Barcelona, there is no other trophy that he possibly could have won that he did not get his hands on while with Barcelona. Sure, there are some that would be quick to say, ah, but he was stealing a living in his last two seasons. He wasn't good in his last two seasons, in order to sort of sully his time with the club. And yeah, sure, he has aged and he has had issues with fitness, but his numbers, his contribution, and his fight for the badge cannot be questioned. And it is not as if he would hide when facing Barcelona's biggest domestic rival, Real Madrid, where Suarez scored 11 goals in 15 matches against Los Blancos. And yet, with this in mind, and with the legacy he has left at the club, the arrival of Ronald Koeman immediately added further fuel to the fire that their current president, Josep Maria Bartomeu, wanted to axe the Uruguayan due to his age and wage demands. And before his prospective future club had a more domestic persuasion, it seemed as if all things pointed toward a move to Turin, from flanking Messi to flanking Ronaldo. Luis Suarez to Juventus seemed to be a sure thing, at least according to most media reports. From what seemed like another media fabrication came what appeared to be some cold, hard evidence. In Italy, it is not enough to be married to someone who holds an EU passport in order to be awarded citizenship. It may be as simple as that for Spain, in which Suarez did not take up a foreign player slot within Barcelona's squad, but in Italy, his wife Sofia Alba's dual nationality doesn't grant him EU status. We all saw the videos of him arriving in Perugia to take his Italian passport exam in order to get citizenship, and we all saw him leaving his exam, surrounded by fans, before heading back to Barcelona. His wife's dual nationality doesn't count for absolutely nothing, as all Suarez had to do was pass his Italian language exam in order to be granted citizenship, and to ensure that he wouldn't occupy a non-EU spot within Juve's squad. But then something strange started to happen. As rumors forged ahead that Suarez was to head to Juve, now stronger than ever after his whirlwind trip to Perugia to take his citizenship exam, other more worrying rumors began to crop up. On Tuesday, September 22nd, the Guardia di Finanza, an investigatory agency that falls under the authority of Italy's Ministry of Economy, released a statement saying that the test that Luis Suarez had taken was a sham, and that the answers had been communicated to him prior to the test and his grade was predetermined. Big allegations to make, and definitely illegal, as the awarding of citizenship is a big deal, and thus the participation of all involved is not to be taken lightly. According to the Guardia di Finanza, an investigation into the University of Perugia, namely their University for Foreigner School, which works to help foreigners get their Italian citizenship, had been ongoing since February of 2020. This investigation goes deep, with wiretaps even being utilized to expose the alleged wrongdoings of the faculty there who run the exams that make or break someone's Italian citizenship application. According to La Repubblica, an Italian publication, the wiretaps used in the investigation allegedly proved that Suarez's Italian exam was a sham. Stefania Spina, who acted as Suarez's Italian tutor, also works at the University for Foreigners of Perugia. In some of the wiretaps released by La Repubblica surrounding the investigation, she is allegedly quoted telling a colleague that Suarez, quote, can't speak a word, end quote, and he was then described as an absolute beginner when it came to the Italian language. The wiretaps go further as Spina allegedly continued with, quote, but what do you think, that we're going to fail him? Today I have the last lesson with Suarez and I have to prepare it because he barely speaks a word. Then a colleague asks what level they should pass him with, in essence what grade they should give him, to which Spina allegedly replied, quote, he should not but he must, he will pass, because with a salary of 10 million euros per season, you can't make him fail, even if he doesn't know how to conjugate verbs and speak in the infinitive. As Sam Goodwin reported for Yahoo Australia, which of course has been linked below, 
Suarez, 33, obtained the intermediate B1 qualification required for citizenship in just 15 minutes, his examiner said after the test, and was only required to do the oral part of the exam. Other citizenship applicants taking the B1 exam on the same day in Rome had to also complete a written paper lasting two and a half hours. And with the investigation that is ongoing on the University of Perugia for inconsistencies regarding the citizenship tests, well, where there's smoke, there's sometimes fire. Now we're getting headlines of Juve's lawyers getting investigated for their involvement and in trying to facilitate this, etc. But again, those are just headlines and not official statements that Juve is being investigated. I can't stress that enough. Do remember that, please. But this topic may require a video of its own in the future if the investigation does indeed tie Juventus to this controversy, as it was alleged by some outlets that they had intended to send more and more prospective non-European signings to the University of Perugia to get these fast-track citizenships done and dusted. But again, I repeat, the investigation is ongoing at this moment, and this definitely won't be the last time we hear about it. In fact, to go even further, Colonel Salvegio Sari of the Guardia di Finanza has himself said that as of now, no representatives from Juve or even Suarez himself are part of the investigation, as it is entirely focused on suspects from the university. If more comes of this, I will certainly revisit it for you guys. But back to the football focus side of things. For Juve's part, Fabio Peratici said, quote, Luis Suarez is not on our list. He's not a target for Juventus. He'll not have the Italian passport during the transfer window, so we can't sign him. We considered Suarez as an option, but he was not close to joining. This quote from Peratici does well to distance themselves from Suarez, though the footage and pictures of him in Perugia show that he, at the absolute minimum, was looking to make himself out to be an easy option for Juve. At the very least. The option that Juve went for, however, was a former Juve striker, Alvaro Marata, as he of course carries a European passport and doesn't affect their non-EU signing slots. And with Marata leaving Atletico Madrid, another opportunity presented itself to Suarez. When Ronald Koeman arrived at Bro when Ronald Koeman arrived at Barcelona, he arrived during a crisis. Their talisman, Lionel Messi, was doing all that he could to leave the club, later listing a multitude of reasons for his discontent. Before Koeman had arrived, there were rumors that Barcelona's president, Bartomeu, wanted to ax some of the older, senior players at the club that were on massive salaries still, names such as Busquets, Piquet, and Jordi Alba, synonymous with Barcelona, were mentioned as players that were on the chopping block, while Luis Suarez's name that also appeared. Then, when Koeman was integrated, it was alleged that he had told Suarez that he was surplus to requirements. Now, there is some debate as to whether this actually happened. Some claim that Koeman and Suarez had a good first meeting, and then later, Suarez heard via the media that he was surplus to requirements. But regardless, it seemed as if he was being forced out the door one way or another, whether that be by Bartomeu or by Koeman. Messi apparently didn't take too kindly to this, and Suarez later showed appreciation for Messi speaking his mind and wanting to leave the club via a reply on Twitter to Puyol's tweet, which read, Respect and admiration, Leo. All my support, friend. And Suarez got involved by doing the clapping emoji and liking the tweet. Read into that what you will. But this fueled the fire that the disconnect between Barcelona and Suarez was at an all-time high, and a move away was on the cards. After the waters muddied on his transfer to Juve, rumors of a move to Atletico picked up some steam. And with Morata leaving a vacancy, they picked up even more. Cue everyone's hero of the European transfer window, Fabrizio Romano, stepping up to the stage and delivering the hallowed here we go in regards to Suarez completing a move to Atletico Madrid. Whenever he does that here we go, by the way, for anyone who's not familiar, the here we go is basically, it's happening, according to Fabrizio Romano, who has a very strong record. Just one day later, on the 23rd of September 2020, Romano alleged that Suarez had informed his teammates that he was leaving for Atletico Madrid, and the footage of a tearful Suarez leaving Barca's training ground soon followed, making its way across the internet. So, he won't be leaving Spain, and instead, the 33-year-old attacker will move to the capital to play under Diego Simeone, a terrifying South American duo. And what's your take on it? Was he mistreated by Barcelona? What do you make of his Italian test? How do you think he'll do at Atletico? Leave your comments below, as I always enjoy reading them, but other than that, 
I'm Adrian, I love you, and thanks so much for watching. If you want more from Rabona TV, then go ahead and subscribe to find your way back more easily. But other than that, I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao is probably the extent of Suarez's Italian. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.